What's up everyone? Welcome to Marty Motoring. It's good to be back making another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about this 2007 Lexus IS350 that I've now owned for a little over a year and just my overall experience with the car as well as show you some of the updates and upgrades I plan to do uh, this summer and some of the things I need to address. And just like that, we are on top of the City Island parking garage in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. You can actually see the city, the small city skyline in the background here. This is a really good place to come take photos and do car things like this. So yes, I've had my Lexus for about a year. It's very dirty right now, but some of the upgrades I did are the headlights. I got aftermarket headlights with the LED. This is a new bumper. It, the paint isn't exact and I do still have these holes because when I changed over, my car has like the washer thing, you push the button, comes up and sprays it. I accidentally broke that. So I haven't put the caps back on yet. I'm actually thinking of just deleting these, making the button work for something else like fog lights and uh, just gluing the caps on here or vinyl wrapping it or something. Uh, it kind of bothers me right now. Um, I have changed out this chrome surround to a black one, this grill. I just put the stock emblem back on. Right now I have the stock hood on. I do have a Cybon carbon fiber hood for it that I need to get re-clear coated. Uh, there's some scratches and there might be a carbon crack. I have to figure that out. But if I can fix the scratches, I'm putting that on. Um, and I also need to put the windshield washer nozzles that I ordered off eBay, I got the right ones. I need to put that on the bottom side of the hood. So this is the part of the car I don't like to show. Um, I have the lip off right now because I'm actually sanding that and I'm gonna be putting it back on. I just wanted to uh, fix it up because it's a little scratched and uh, dirty and I'm just trying to clean this all up here. I was going up a driveway just at the wrong angle and uh, this cracked so I just have it vinyl um, <laughs> taped for now. I know it's it's bad um, and also my wheel well liner is kind of coming off so I'm gonna screw that back on so it holds the bumper in a little better uh, and that's just what I'm gonna do for now. I actually learned that this car was repainted at some point so that kind of sucked. Like you can actually see some of the rub. Uh, I don't know if they didn't sand it right or what. I didn't notice that when I bought it and this, the bumper had so many chips. The, the hood is kind of okay. It doesn't have that many rock chips, but the bumper was terrible. Right now it's just, it's just bugs. That'll, I mean, it's a brand new bumper. Another upgrade I did is obviously, as you can see, tires and wheels. I have the Option Lab wheels and uh, just some cheap tires that I will eventually upgrade. It is lowered on H&R Springs and has Sensen struts all around. So under the hood here, I have the Sensen struts with H&R Springs. I actually have all my engine covers and stuff off just because I kind of like to see what's going on. I don't know if this actually helps. I had some foil tape and I just wrapped the intake tube. It seems to stay a little cooler, but you know, it still gets hot. I did have to replace the battery when I first got the car, but I think why I had to replace the battery is because the alternator went two weeks later. So I think the alternator was actually bad and it caused the battery to go bad and I did not realize that when I first bought it. I do have the F-Sport filter in here an American flag because why not? I did actually drill a little hole in the front here. Um, and no, it's not a ricer mod. That's actually how the F-Sport ones are. Uh, they have a hole there for extra induction, I guess. And it actually makes it sound a lot better from the three to 4,000 RPM range, as you've probably heard in some of my videos with exhaust. Also, I have a roof spoiler from eBay that's actually pretty beat up. It's just 3M'd on there. That just gives it a cool look. I did get the windows tinted all around 35%. I also put this little wing on here, this little spoiler, lip spoiler. I think it just gives it more of a aggressive rear end and it makes it look just fatter when you're looking at the back. 350 plate because IS350, people love that thing. I have the uh, Speed Daddy axle back exhaust and I actually have a video of me installing that, I'll link below, as well as a resonator where I cut the stock resonator and put this little like eBay one that barely does anything so it's a lot louder. It actually sounds pretty good. Had that done at Westy's Speed Shop. But yeah, the car really came along uh, in the last year. 
I've just done, you know, subtle things to it. Another thing I did is paint the calipers black. They were like a faded red when I got it. And I put the Lexus decal and then clear coated over it. That helped it. And I just replaced the rotors and brakes. So I have ceramic brakes with slotted only rotors because I don't know if I really trust the drilled rotors, some of them. I know they are, they look cool, but some of them crack, I've heard. And the slotted is just kind of a safe way to go. In the interior, I've wrapped the panels for the door and the center console. So I wrapped that kind of like a brushed aluminum. I think it looks really cool and clean and subtle. I did get all new door panels for the recall for this car. Uh, so everything's brand new and a brand new dash. So the interior is very nice, very new. The leather is just great condition, you know. It's a, it's a little scratched and, you know, worn, but that's what happens over time. But there's no rips or anything. It's perforated. I do have the heated and cooled seats in this because it's the navigation and luxury package. It's fully loaded. It hasn't had any problems besides the alternator and battery. The trunk, the only thing is, uh, it's, uh, these are actually known for it. This just keeps falling down because whoever had it, the clips fell out and they just didn't fix it right. They rigged it. Uh, my stereo was messed with at some point. The amp was, there's like an amp wire and the amp stuff is tapped into. So that's kind of annoying, but everything works. The little struts in there uh, for the trunk to hold it up actually are kind of failed. So, it, I mean, they, they kind of work, but as soon as it gets here, the trunk is too heavy and it just slams. So that is something I have the replacements here. I just need to, I need to fix that. I do want to change the rear light, so that will probably be coming soon. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit more upgraded look LED ones. These are fine, but I think it'll just make the car stand out with the front and the rear lights changed. Overall, it's been a great car. It's very reliable. It's a Toyota after all. Um, I have about 150,000 miles on it. All I've done is oil change and brakes and any upgrades I've obviously done. That's the only money I've spent on it. I haven't had to do any repairs except for the bumper, but that was kind of my fault. It's a very reliable car. It's a quick car. I can get zero to 60 in under five seconds. I think that's pretty good for a daily driver. I mean, it's just a 306 horsepower V6, but it's rear wheel drive. And with the wider wheel setup, it really takes off. It's comfortable, it's quick. It can keep up with STIs and Evos. Yeah, it doesn't have a turbo, but you know. Yeah, I can't really say anything bad about it. I mean, yeah, I wish it was a little faster. It's not an ISF. The ISFs definitely have a little more torque and speed, but they're not that much faster. But with mods, they can be. This, pretty much, I just have, you know, exhaust, wheels. Um, maybe I'll get racing seats one day, racing steering wheel. But really, I don't feel like I have to change any of those things right away because I want to keep this car long term. Obviously, I still owe money on it. I've only had it for a year, um, but I've done a lot to it and put money into it. And I really enjoy it every day. And that's kind of part of modding cars, just making it your own and enjoying it. There's little things that I want to do here and there. I also maybe want to wrap it white. I think that would be cool, like a um, pearl metallic white, like a bright color, because black does get very hot. And it kind of is just very, very subtle. I really do like my color of my wheels though, gunmetal. I like the subtle wheels. This thing does do awesome in the curves, and it's very torquey and fun, and it sounds great. So if you're looking to get one, I would recommend it. Reliability, A+, the styling, I would give it like an A at least. Uh, you know, it's not the mo most modern looking car, but it is very good looking. Just very sleek sedan. Does well in the sport department and the luxury department. You get a little bit of both, and the more you mod it, the better it becomes, I think. So let me know in the comments what you think of the Lexus IS350. It's an 11 year old car. Feel free to browse around on my videos, and you can see kind of everything I've done to the car. Um, I try to document it on this YouTube channel. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, we're almost at 500 subscribers as of now. That would be awesome to hit 500 and then eventually hit my goal of 1,000. I just really enjoy making videos on this car and hope I can share my experience with everybody. Thanks for watching Marty Motoring, where we're not afraid to leave a little rubber on the road.